Palace, Mendoza, Argentina. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Palace of Dreams, Kevin Diamante Munoz. <laughs> Ricardo, the magic man, Malachi Kha. Bayma commands at all times, protects us at all times. Any, anything here is low, anything here is low, okay? Shake hands, good luck, God bless, Buena suerte. Third man in the ring is Dion Duarte here from Cape Town. Very, very experienced referee. And there's no doubt they'll be in good hands here. Ricardo Malachica and Kevin Luis Munoz. Ricardo Malachica will fight out of the blue corner in the pink trunks. Kevin Luis Munoz, Diamante with the black and white. The belt's out for round number one of a scheduled 12 for the IBO Junior Bantamweight Championship of the World. Both boxers fighting out of the orthodox stance. And Munoz connects with Malachika, who's on the ground. When he's down, you don't hit him, OK? Not sure what happened there. Looks like a slip. It's in the next What's in the next? Munoz has come out fighting. Munoz last fought in February of this year, a month later for Ricardo Malachika, who beat Adrian Larresen of the Philippines at Empress Palace with a technical knockout in the fifth of ten rounds. Nice lunging punches from Malachika. Goes to the body now. Kevin. Munoz looks just as hungry even though he's on the back foot. Now good right hand from Malachika. Munoz comes forward. Malachika's got to keep his hands up. Munoz is a very experienced fighter. 19th fight of his career. Comes into the fight in, with his, in his 111th round, 66th round of boxing for Ricardo Malajica. Both tasted success. Malajica's lost twice the last time against uh, Siko Cortole in April of 2022. Only one loss for Munoz in his career. From Munoz, but it didn't land. This, of course, like Kevin said, for the vacant IBO Junior Bantuate Championship of the World. Nice right hand, left, left uppercut. Not much power in it from Malajika, but he's signaling some intent here. Wide eyes for Evan and right, but he was backing away. Munoz so didn't have much power from Malajika. Nice shot, jabs from Ricardo. Another one. I think as you said that he heard you, Kevin, and he threw a powerful right hand. Well, another powerful right hand. There's a stinging jab from Munoz Diamante. This is going to be an interesting one. Both fighters establishing the jab. Fighters fighting at the 52.20 kilogram weight limit. Not the biggest of fighters, but we expect lots of action in this one. Another trying to catch Munoz on the turn. Good opening around from both fighters. They've come to fight. Who wants this world title? It's vacant. Good jab from Malajika. Good jab from Munoz. Oh, good jab from the South African. Yeah, round one. And he's hurt Munoz. Last left hand on the turn from Malajika. Tries the same thing. And then has to hold on as Munoz swings back. The ten seconds remaining in round one. Entertaining first round, Brian. Salt out of it. Round two of the scheduled 12 for the vacant RBO Junior Bantamweight Championship of the World. Manachika by 10 points to 9, in my opinion, in the first round. Almost gets caught coming forward. Munoz slipping punches. Manachika needs to keep those hands nice and tidy. Just a little slap with the wrist there from Manachika. Obviously not. Nice right Such a good record for nothing. You can fight. Right hand uh, touch the side of the face of Munoz from Ricardo Malachika. Both showing good lateral movement in the early stages. This, this one staying away from the bombs that will certainly come through the duration of this fight. Shot jabs from both fighters. Munoz looking for the right hand, you can see he's loading up for the right hand, but he's not landing. Malachika's finding the range. Right up 
uppercut and uh, left to the body from Manojika. Munoz wants to come on the inside. Watching a bit of footage of uh, Munoz in action when he fought against Eva Leandro Silva in a fight in 2022. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he looked pretty good, he looked very patient. In, in that fight, and he was backing away, fighting almost a counter attack as a big swinging right hand from Malachika. But he wasn't afraid to, to come inside and mix it. One thing that impressed me was the straight punches that I saw from Munoz in that fight. Is he going to be allowed to get close enough to land for Malachika? He looks very fluid at the moment in his movement. Now, smooth Malachika switches it up from Southport to Orthodox, works for him. Got to keep the hands up while he's doing it, though. Munoz is coming forward. And so far, good fight. Jan, the junior bantamweight division. Possibly Ricardo Malajika shading this round as well. But Munoz never afraid to just go onto the back foot. Soak up uh, a little bit of the action. Nice little popping left hand from Malajika. Then he comes forward. He just got caught on the inside of it there, did Ricardo. Always got to be careful when you come forward at pace to an opponent who is a reasonable counter puncher. Oh, snappy little left hand from Malajika. Yeah, Malajika's got the work there, going nice and smooth here yeah, in round number two. Yeah, it's a good fight so far from Malajika. He's fighting the right fight. He's keeping his opponent at bay and he's using the chair to good effect so far. It's, it's a good start for the. Munoz a little slow off his stool, but I don't think it's too much problem with that. Both fighters fighting out of the orthodox stance. Seems, seems to be a little bit of a problem on the black trunks of the Argentinian. And referee Dion Duarte really quick to spot anything that's amiss inside the square jungle. Yeah, like you said, Kevin, uh, Dion Duarte has been in the big league already. He's uh, been a referee and a judge in many big fights, and he's a brilliant referee, I must say. Yeah, he certainly is. He's got a huge, huge reputation, not only in South Africa, but uh, globally as well. Malachika continues with the game plan. Not sure why he looked down on that occasion. Dangerous to take your eyes off your opponent yeah. in the fight game. Definitely don't take your eyes off your opponent in this game. But he's popping the jab nicely. There's a sharp left hand from Munoz. Receives one back from Malachika. Two minutes remaining in round three of a schedule 12. It's pretty even at the moment. Shot from Munoz. Nice right hand from Malachika. Referee says to Munoz, he must keep his punches up. Malachika just holding on for the moment. Munoz hurt Malachika with a left hook. Tries the uppercut as Munoz. There's lots of uh, chatter coming from the Munoz corner at the moment. Sensing they might be able to end this early. Well, it's a better round, round for Munoz. Landed a big left hook, hurt Ricardo Malajika. Malajika's recovered. Just look for a moment that Malajika wanted to try and hold on to the gloves of Munoz. Well, Munoz looking confident, just bouncing on his toes. You know, what's interesting from Munoz is that he keeps his feet quite close together. Now Malajika returns the punches with interest. He's back in here, round three towards the end of the round from Ricardo Magic Man Malajika. The round was close until now. Watch your head! Watch your head! Both the, the boxes coming in simultaneously. Referee Duarte offers the warning. Yeah, it's been an interesting round, Brian. First of all, it was Munoz at the start of the round, and then Malajika with a combination towards the end of the second minute. And now that sharp jab from Malajika. Happy to see that Malajika can take a punch. Yeah, he got, he got caught to that left uh, early on in the round, Malajika, but he's recovered well. Munoz is coming in again. Yeah. Right hand from Munoz. Well, it's a competitive fight in the junior bantamweight division here. For the back end. He, he gets him and he tells him exactly what he thinks. I wonder how uh, the referee Dion Duarte's uh, Spanish is. 
Rangy left hand from Malachika. Oh, he looked to unleash the combination there. Did Munoz got tagged with the right hand from Malachika. He's trying some big punches in there, is Munoz. Munoz is doing the right thing. He's swinging with the left hook. He knows he can catch Ricardo Malachika with the left hook. Malachika's fighting a good fight, but those hands have got to be harder. The fight is watchful at the moment. It's been an entertaining fight so far. Fourth round of the scheduled 12 for the vacant IBO Junior Bantamweight Championship of the World. Reaching punch from Munoz. You've got to be careful with that. And he left his hand in the punch. He's going to be tagged with the right hand of uh, Ricardo Malachika. Nice left hand from Munoz. Looking sharp here is the Argentinian. Much better round, round number four for Munoz. These but fighters still not learning uh, enough to yeah. me. Yeah. You know when guys try and fight off the back foot, Kevin, and they, they try and counter punch, but they're not throwing punches. That's in the straight right there as he launches forward this time, Ricardo Malachika. No reaction at all from Munoz. Left hand uh, uppercut on the run from Munoz. I like the left hook from Munoz, it's working. But Ricardo's penetrating with the straight right. One for you, one for me. Round number four. Nice double chair from Ricardo Malachika. Still has his eyes wide, wide open. Yeah, Malachika has that, that look about him, uh, Kevin. His, his, eyes, his eyes are wide open, which means he's very focused and concentrating. left hand from Malachika, careful not to be caught on the inside by Munoz. Spoke about the patience that he showed in the fight that I watched against Abel Leandro Silva. And they fought for the South American Junior Bantamweight Championship. Well, it's almost like one when one wants to give Kevin Munoz the round, uh, Ricardo Malachika fights back towards the end of the round. So, depending what the judges like, let them make the decision. We unofficial, of course. <laughs> Difficult not to get caught coming forward with Munoz when he almost leaps in towards his opponent because uh, he's got his hands in the wrong position. He can be caught. Oh, good right hand from Munoz. Nice Down the middle. The schedule 12. There's a world championship at stake here. Fabio Junior Benton right into the guys? body from Munoz. It's a slight change in uh, what he does because he's uh, looking for that left hand you like the left hand of Munoz Brian yeah he's got he's got a terrific little left hook uh ricardo has got to be careful of that because that snappy little left hook which is uh, such a good punch for anybody my favorite punch ever is a short six inch left hook and Munoz does it quite well and he does it sneakily Malachika's gonna have to be careful of that but Malachika's boxing a good fight he's, he's he's patient he's using the jab and he knows he's got 12 rounds, it's a world title. It's his first world title, both of them. Munoz again, as you've seen in previous footage of the Argentinian, waiting patiently on the outside. And then he leaps into the action and tries to throw punches from that sort of position. It's an interesting style. Tries to throw the right hand on the inside, gets caught coming forward by Manachika. And then claims that there was a low blow. Referee says, box on. An excellent combination now from Manachika. Both of you watch your heads, okay? Both of you from the inside. Warning them both for head butting. Shot left hand from uh, the, the uh, Argentinian fighter. Double jab from Malachika. Tries to follow up on another one here. Hasn't landed the right. Does, does land the right now? That's Malachika. Yeah, Malachika's fighting a cool, calm and collected fight. Very smart for 25 yards. Combination from Malachika finds the targets. He really does swing with some purpose, does Munoz, yeah, doesn't he? Backstep, now they jump all over uh, the top of each other. Do the two boxes. He's not Step landing back. Munoz and Malachika is landing. But he's throwing with purpose. And he's always going to be dangerous. He's not 16 and 1 for nothing. That's for sure. It's Munoz. 
20 seconds away from the end of round five of the schedule 12. Jeff's landing almost a drill, the right left combination, uppercut from Monachika. Is he too far away for those punches to be really causing any problems for the Argentinian? Continues to lunge in though. And at some stage, surely Malajik has got to catch him coming forward like that. Yeah, he's a tough guy, the Argentinian. He's come to fight. <laughs> the right hands from Malajik. Thanks a bit. The man from Argentina is tough. An official scorecard by a couple of points. But it's uh, a lot tighter than that one feels. That's up to the judges, as you said, Brian, I mean, we've spoken about this before in the fight game. What type of uh, fighter does a judge prefer? The come forward, or the uh, counter, but the counter punch, or the peekaboo, the stick and move. You know, the judges have their preferences. Yeah, of course, Kevin, and that's why there's three judges around the ringside to, to make it as fair as possible. Three people looking at it differently, unbiasedly. And yeah, some, some uh, as you say, some of the judges like to come for a fighter, some like this, some typical boxer. But Malajik has got to be winning, he's throwing more punches, landing more punches. Munoz uh, needs to come and fight now. Whatever happens tonight, Brian, in this fight, we know that uh, when Duncan Pollock reads the result, if it does go to the scorecards, we're going to hear and the new, because yeah. this is for a vacant title. Absolutely. <laughs> It's, there's definitely won't be and still. No, it'll be and the new. <laughs> well picked up, uh, Kevin Evans. <laughs> I'll try my best. And I think it's past Kevin Evans. These two fighters trying to get past each other here. Munoz and Malachika. Munoz in the black trunks, Malachika in the pink. The pink hairstyle as well. Unmistakable, the South African. Not much going on in the uh, round. Number six of the schedule, 12. That's a nice little choppy right hand. As he just catches Malachika changing direction. Uh, both these fighters are scientifically very good. A couple of nice straight left hands from Ricardo Malachika. Pops the right hand. Turns that right hand. We've seen that right hand a couple of times when he just turns his body and catches uh, Munoz on the turn. Yeah, I like what Malajik is doing, Kevin. He's, he's fighting a, a, a calm fight. He's, he's calculated. He's thinking about it. He's not falling out of his own feet. Good left hand. Now he's at the southpaw stance. Switch hitter. Big time is followed. He's Ricardo Malajika. Munoz says, bring it on, but he's a bit wild. Caught with him the right hand. Just as he tried to turn there, did Munoz. And I thought he'd almost caught uh, Malachika with a low blow at one stage. Well, what Munoz is doing now is the right fight. He's got a pressure on. Oh, and a good left hook from Munoz. He's got to go forward if he wants to win. And Malachika has got to be careful of that left hook. Well, there's a slight change in uh, in what he's doing because he was just, just almost standing back, being patient, then lunging in with a combination of punches. Now he's just coming forward. Well, that's what he's got to do. Tries to land the right hand and gets caught coming forward by Malachika. Right as we head towards the bell to end round number six. There's a nice little right hand in there. Malachika, Kevin Luis Munoz, South Africa against Argentina. Live at uh, Empress Palace. Palace of Dreams. Mecca of South African boxing. What doesn't happen here doesn't matter. Malachika starts to make, need it. make it happen now. Not enough punches from both fighters, especially Malajika at the stage. Mike, stop it! Stop punching, stop it. World sports betting, no doubt, will be a busy place. It has been a busy place this evening, no doubt, will be a busy place still. Because we still have Raw Knapp against uh, Prismas Law Zisk in the uh, International Junior Middleweight fight that comes up after the, the conclusion of this one. One minute into the second half of the fight. Quiet start to round number seven. And as I say, that Ricardo Malajika with a triple jab. Still lunging in a little bit here is Munoz. What stage does he lose patience and get caught by Malajika? He's a really nice, compact little fighter. I like the way he raises the right shoulder as well. Maybe not enough, but... Uh, 
Malajika is doing nicely. Slips the punch, lands the left. That's Malajika. Yeah, Munoz is decent, that's for sure. Kevin. I mean, that's why this is a world title fight. Both these guys are showing that they deserve to be fighting for the vacant IBO title. And it's, it's a close fight, it's a tough fight. Ricardo's complaining about Alba, but he's landing good punches. Well, Munoz is coming on strong from round number seven. Thanks for that. He showed uh, in the beginning of the round that he seemed to be quite keen to fight the way he fought in rounds five and six, but suddenly in the second, second half of the round, he's coming on strong. Is Kevin Munoz. Such an interesting fight, such a technical bout. Well, it's an even fight so far. Munoz coming on strong in round number seven. Don't push it again. to work and throw more punches Malajika going to win this fight Munoz turning this round in his favor right hand nice little left clips the jaw of the man from Argentina well, he's coming on now Munoz Malajika pops the jab out of South Force stones snap into the right hand from Munoz another right hand from Munoz in the reaching left hand from Malajika ends Round number seven and round number eight. If you just joined us, this vacant IBO junior bantamweight title fight. Kevin Luis Munoz from Argentina. And he faces South Africa's Ricardo Magic Man Malajika. It's a close fight. Yeah, it's a very tight fight indeed. At, at what stage, Brian, does the uh, conditioning lapse for either one of the two boxes? Either that or at what stage do one of these fighters then take completely con complete control over the fight do we wait for the championship rounds 11 and 12 or does something happen before that no it's got to, it's got to happen now kevin you, you've got to go to the next level now you've got to up your game that's a tough one when you've been fighting for uh, seven rounds already but, but look, this is what what defines champions when a guy after seven eight rounds can up his game he becomes the champion so whoever ups their game now will possibly win this vacant title Average of uh, six rounds per fight for Munoz. <laughs> Munoz got a lot of Vaseline on him. I'm surprised that the referee didn't stop it. Oh, good right hand from Malajika. Yeah, he's trying to lunge in those punches at the moment, Munoz. But there's not a lot coming back from the Argentinian, the Argentine boxer. Takes a little right hand as Malajika. Trying to duck out of the way. Right hand from Malachika, left, right. Big uh, swinging right misses from the South African. Left misses this time. Well, it looks like a bit better now from Malachika, round number eight. Reaching right hand from the South African. Another one, right hand from Thanks, Malachika. Both of you, keep it up, keep it up. One minute remaining in round eight of the schedule 12. Referee Dwart says, keep it up, gentlemen. Well, Malajika's on the back foot. He needs to start putting on the pressure. Now, it's quite interesting the way Munoz starts the fight and he allows Malajika to come to him. And when you get into the second half of the round, then he starts pushing forward and landing punches and trying to dominate matches and steal the round from the South African. Nice turn around here. Both from Malajika, a couple of good punches landing from the South African right above our commentary position. Stop it. If they uh, go through the ropes, they'll uh, land on your lap, Brian. <laughs> You're right above our head, Jack. Good work from Malajika. Turns his man around. Nice right hand. Gets a lot. Malajika is needed to win this round. And he possibly has won this round. I agree. Oh, good work from that. So there we go. And he needed that round. Of Kevin Luis Munoz. The action comes thick and fast at the start of round number nine of a schedule 12. And as you said, Brian, this is the time where the fighters need to start uh, bringing out the number one game plan. He's pushing forward early in the round. We don't often see that from Munoz. He's normally a lot more patient. 
but he's looking as if he's more purposeful here in round nine. Yeah, I've got a card of winning by a couple of points, but it's but whoever wins the last couple of rounds. You say a couple of points, I've got it uh, a couple of points as well. 78 to 76 currently. But of course, yeah, I'm going with two points to Conor Malajika at this stage, but two points is not enough. There's four rounds to go, and Munoz is throwing that left hook. Yeah, he's gone back to the front player here, and, and you know, those punches of purpose, meaning he gets clipped with a little left hand from Malajika, who suddenly seems a little bit surprised at the purpose shown here by Munoz. He's got to turn it around, though, Malajika. And, you know, I say it every time we commentate, Kevin, and I'll say it for the rest of my life, the guy coming forward and throwing the most punches is going to be winning the fight. Watch your head, so, stop, stop. When the card goes forward, he looks good. Head, okay? When Munoz goes forward, he looks good. Box. You've got to come forward. They're both coming forward simultaneously, and there's a little bit of blood on the Mother Chica and on Munoz. But it's a good fight. They're standing in the middle of the ring, and they're exchanging blows. These two guys are in good, great condition. Well done to both the trainers for bringing them in such brilliant condition. That's a good little junior bank to wait tight to fight. Well, he's not throwing enough punches now, Munoz. If he wants to take this title back to Argentina, he's going to have to up his work rate. And it's not over yet for the South African. No, not by any stretch of the imagination. Blood on the nose of Ricardo Malachika. Both fighters still very keen to lift this vacant IBO Junior Bantamweight World Championship. And that'll mo motivate Munoz as well, that Ricardo's got a bloody nose. You'll know that he's catching. His punches are still so sharp for this deep into the fight. Ooh, it's a big swing and a miss from Malachika. It almost looked tired, didn't it? Well, nobody can take their foot off the pedal now in round number nine. Well, will Vinci Matalo get his first world champion and will Sam Fiolz get their first world champion? Ricardo will create history in a lot of ways. There was a nice combination from Ricardo Malachika on the inside. Right hand from Malachika. Oh, Left great. hand from Malachika. But he's only throwing single punches at the moment. It's the of a schedule 12. The vacant RBO Junior Bantamweight Championship of the World. Live for you on Super Sports, your World of Champions. Brought to you by Empress Palace and by World Sports Betting. I hope you're enjoying the evening of boxing. Munoz is deceiving because he's he stands in front of you and he gives you angles and he throws good punches and he's very fit. So he's putting up a good fight. The man from Argentina, Munoz, the man from South Africa, I've got to say. Is boxing a beautiful fight? Well, he's going to reach a stage unless Munoz starts to dominate and to take points away from the South African. That uh, yeah, man from Argentina is going to need a knockout or knockdown at least. Uh, if, he, if he doesn't win this round, Munoz, then he definitely needs a knockdown. Malajika needs to keep popping the jab. And Munoz needs to close the gap. You've got to fight the style that your opponent doesn't like. So, in, in this case, I'd say Munoz, make the corner go back. Cut off the ring. And, but, but the same goes for Malajika. Make Munoz go back. And that's the guy winning the fight. The guy making the other guy go back. And the guy throwing the most punches, which right now is Ricardo Malajika. Held back on the punch there, did Munoz. Nothing really landing at the moment, as we have a one minute remaining in round 10 of a scheduled 12, and then there's only six minutes remaining. Little popping right hand from Malachika. That's a better right hand from the South African. Yeah, he's, he's worked it out, Malachika, but Munoz has got a sneaky left hook. He's worked it out well, but he's not getting tagged. Chica fighting a good fight here, but Munoz's conditioning is, seems to be 
at its peak. Left right combination from the South African. And a good fight from these two talented guys. Now, I wouldn't want to be a ringside judge if this does go to the scorecards. Nice right hand from Munoz. He's relying on the left hand, but I tell you what, Marachika's done enough to, first of all, circle away from the left hand and then also keep his guard up. Yeah, I'm big right hand to the body from Marachika. Marachika's still quite comfortable on points here. Two rounds to go. 11, 11 the penultimate round. The corner Malachika against Kevin Luis Munoz. Munoz needs a knockdown to get back into this fight. Otherwise, South Africa is going to have a new IBO champion of the world. Nice start to the round by Malachika. The left right combination. Just trying to establish his dominance. These are the championship rounds, Brian. Place you've been on many occasions, even further, because you fought 15 round fights. Yeah, I fought quite a few 15 rounds. Yeah, I, I enjoyed them, but uh, yeah, I tried not to get hit. It did help a bit. <laughs> As it always does. <laughs> My defensive skills are okay, but that's all hard work. But back to the action here. You can see these two guys are well conditioned, well trained. They put in the time. They train for months and hours and hours every day, putting in the work. To be in condition like us, to fight like us in the 11th round. Both fighters have given themselves enough chance to recover after their previous fights. Munoz last fought in February, Malajika last fought in March of this year. And they both look very well conditioned, they're both putting up a great fight tonight. Round 11 of 12 for a world title. Lunging forward again, back to his old tricks. Munoz nearly got caught coming forward there by Malachika. Malachika, just as things worked out, he's not as much lateral movement as I say that he does move, does the South African. Nice sharp left hand from Malachika. Yeah, Malachika's fought uh, a very cool, calculated fight and a smart fight, I must say. Not sure what the judges have got, but he's definitely eight on points. Yeah, I've got him ahead on points as well. My scorecard is uh, not anywhere near official. Don't want it to be either for that matter. Don't need that sort of pressure. How many points have you got, Kevin? No coming through. I think the card of Malajika could be. They exchange good punches. Both with right hands to Malajika and Munoz. Oh, nice right hand from Malachika. Another right hand from Malachika. Now he's sensing blood. Yeah. Is this South African? Malachika can feel that IBA world title getting closer by the minute. Three and a half minutes left. Needs to just conserve that energy a little bit. I can understand what his intentions are. Trying to end it here in round number 11. But he sent in some good punches, and there's another combination. From Ricardo Malajika. Black Savaji. Munoz is going to be And another good round for the South African. Three minutes. Two boxers will shake hands in the middle of the ring. The bell sounds for the start Box. of the 12th and final round of a schedule 12. No knockdowns. But there have been some good punches and there has been some good action. Live on your world of champions at Empress Palace. It's Palace Knights at the Palace of Dreams. Two minutes, 42 seconds of Ricardo Malajika's dream, all-time dream of becoming a world champion. Six brothers, all multiple champions in the amateurs. Trained by the late Billy in South Wales. Billy would be so proud now, looking down, hopefully, from heaven. And, of course, Anton Gilmore was turned Malajika professional. He'll be a Best proud man. Team. Did a good job with Malajika. And, of course, now with Vusi Matola. The Argentinian certainly came too far. It's no easy payday when you enter the square jungle. And uh, Munoz has really he, put up a good performance tonight. You just need to look at his record. Kevin, 16 and 1. He's from South America. The guy must be able to fight. And you can see he can fight. Only a second bout outside of Argentina. He did fight in Venezuela in uh, June of 2021. But he's never traveled to Africa before. He's looking to 
a strong finish here. He needs a strong finish. He needs more than a strong finish. He needs a knockout. Ricardo Malachika seems to have things going his way at the moment. Malachika staying out of trouble, but not allowing his opponent to overwhelm him and not allowing Munoz to unleash the levers. Oh, a swing and a miss from Malachika. A minute remaining in the 12th and final round. Who will be crowned the new IBO Junior Bantamweight Champion of the World? You'll know in about a minute or so, and this is a dramatic knockout in the final seconds. Munoz on the offensive, but nothing's landing from the Argentine. Argentine punches on the break. Referee Dwight just uh, looks him in the eye. Malachika fighting off the back foot, but he's fighting nicely here. Combination from Malachika, looking to end the round strongly again. Just 30 seconds remaining. Judge Tony Nyangiwe from Dipkluf, Johannesburg, scored at 1-1-7-1-1-1. And Judge John Shipanuka from Lusaka, Zambia, scored at 1-2-0-1-0-8 in favour of the winner. And the new IBO Junior Bantamweight Champion from South Africa, Ricardo Long 